Welcome to the 21st Commonwealth Games. And the Queensland rains did not dampen the excitement of the crowd, performers and athletes at the spectacular opening ceremony on Australia's Gold Coast. That's where we live. From here, you can't see any borders, no barriers built to divide us. No people are. All that we are, all that we have, all that we will be, all that we treasure, all that we love, all our memories, our stories, our hopes, and our dreams, the best and the worst of us are all there on that tiny grain of rock. The magnificent voice of Australian actor Jack Thompson ushers in the ceremony. No one say the past is dead. The past is all around us and within. Haunted by tribal memories, I know. This little now, this accidental present, is not the all of me. Whose long making is so much of the past. The Mibben, or a wedgetail eagle, symbolises power, being fierce and courageous, and it's the Aboriginal word for human. Please welcome the Honourable Malcolm Turnbull, MP, Prime Minister of Australia. The Honourable Anastasia Palaszczuk, MP, Premier of Queensland, and the Mayor of the City of Gold Coast, Tom Tate. moment for all of them, no doubt. Seven years in the making in lots of cases. And now, please welcome to the Gold Coast, their Royal Highnesses, the Prince of Wales, joined by the Duchess of Cornwall. A significant moment. Tonight, their Royal Highnesses the are accompanied arrives. by Ken Williams and Patricia O'Connor. Yugambeh elders, representing the traditional custodians of this land, along with future leaders, Shani O'Connor and Clinton Brewer. And we're used to seeing the royalty arrive at the Commonwealth Games 
in the Big Bentley, in the flash car, but the Prince of Wales arrives on foot, makes a statement, powerful one. This ceremony is all about inclusiveness. It's all about everybody being together. And, and then, sharing yeah. a common wealth. And that's a moment that just proves it. Minagi Jingari Jimbalang Yugambe Jagan. We welcome you to Yugambe country in the language of the traditional custodians. This ceremony is being held on the lands of the Yugambe people of the Gold Coast region. It makes me so happy to see this magnificent event happen in this place and to welcome you to country. A welcome to country is a customary way to begin the gathering of clans, strangers and visitors. This task is usually undertaken by senior traditional elders and accompanied by ceremony, dance and song. This is both a revival of an Indigenous tradition, stretching back thousands of generations, and part of Australia's 21st century reconciliation journey towards a society founded on mutual respect and inclusion. For those of you who have travelled across the oceans, across the continent, across the state, we invite you to enjoy your time in our beautiful country. between nations is on the very last leg of its extraordinary journey and in just a little while it will arrive here in the stadium where the message from Her Majesty will at last be shared with all of us. It's my honour to call in the first team of this evening's Parade of Nations. Beginning with the host nation of the last Commonwealth Games, leading in Europe, it's Scotland! Here comes 
come the rest of the athletes of Europe, please welcome Cyprus. Queen's Batten started its journey 388 days ago and now they join us here on the Gold Coast. It's England!
it's time to welcome Namibia! The Queen's baton was there a year ago today. Welcome, Nigeria! Welcome, Seychelles! Now entering the stadium, Sierra Leone! Welcome, South Africa! Please give a cheer for Swaziland! Please welcome the Gambia! G'day, g'day, Uganda! Please welcome the United Republic of Tanzania! And our final team from Africa, welcome Zambia. Now the athletes of the Americas. Please welcome Belize. Let's give a warm Gold Coast welcome to Bermuda. Welcome, Canada! Now joining us in the stadium, the Falkland Islands. A 
It's time to welcome Guyana. Give a big welcome to St. Helena. And for the final team of this region, the Bahamas. And now, leading in the Athletes of Asia, Bangladesh. Give a great big welcome to Brunei Darussalam. Here comes India. Please welcome Malaysia. Joining us now, it's Pakistan. And the final team of the region, Sri Lanka. And now, the first of the athletes of the Caribbean, Anguilla. Welcome in Barbados! Arriving in the stadium now, it's the British Virgin Islands!
It's time to welcome St Kitts and Nevis. Vincent and the Grenadines. Let's hear it for Trinidad and Tobago. team from the Caribbean region, Turks and Caicos Islands. Boys and girls, here come the athletes of Oceania. Please welcome Cook Islands. into the stadium, Kiribati. Please give a very warm welcome to Nauru. Welcome our closest neighbours, New Zealand. Let's put our hands together for New A. to the stadium, Norfolk Island. G'day, g'day, Papua New Guinea. Coming into the stadium now, Samoa. A big warm welcome to the Solomon Islands. Glad to have you on the Gold Coast, Tonga! Ladies and gentlemen, the ceremonial flag of the Commonwealth Games Federation.
group of inspiring Commonwealth athletes, all recently appointed to the CGF Athletes Advisory Commission. From Dominica, high jump, two-time Commonwealth Games athlete in 2010 and 2014, Brendan Williams. South Africa, swimming. She made history when she competed at the Manchester Commonwealth Games, both as an able-bodied and para-sport athlete. Seven-time Commonwealth gold medalist, it's Natalie Dutois. From New Zealand, track cycling, Commonwealth gold medalist, Alison Shanks. Canada, high jump, Commonwealth gold and bronze medalist, Nicole Forrester. From Scotland, Rugby Sevens national team captain from 2009 to 2014, Colin Gregor. And from Scotland, hockey three-time Commonwealth Games athlete and chair of the Athletes Advisory Commission. It's Rona Toft. We're now going to hear from Karen Murphy, an athlete, Lisa Alexander, a coach, and Desmond Johnston, a technical official. Three people representing all the athletes, coaches, and technical officials at these games. They will take an oath on their behalf.
We come to this place from many lands to demonstrate the spirit of true sportsmanship that we all share. And to stand up for the values and ideals that live at the heart of these games. Our shared humanity, the respect we give each other, finding lasting friendships and common ground in our diversity. Our shared equality, the level playing field on which we compete, providing fairness and opportunity for all. And our shared destiny to do our best here so we inspire individuals and communities around the world to realise their own aspirations. This, this is, is our oath. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back the President of the Commonwealth Games Federation, Louise Martin, and the Chairman of the Gold Coast 2018 Commonwealth Games Organising Committee, Peter Beattie. G'day. Welcome to Australia. Welcome to Queensland and welcome to the Gold Coast. Welcome also to the Commonwealth Games. And in the language of the local Yugambeh people, I say jingery to you all. To His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, who is here on behalf of the head of the Commonwealth, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, and to the Duchess of Cornwall, I extend a very warm Australian welcome. Australians are warm and fun-loving people. We judge others by what's in their hearts, not where they come from, because in the end, we all share the same place. These games allow us to issue an invitation to the world to visit and experience true Australian hospitality, because we are the friendliest people on this planet. Your Royal Highnesses, Elders, Prime Minister, Premier, Lord Mayor, distinguished guests, ladies, gentlemen, and Commonwealth athletes, Jingri Janglans, thank you for joining us this evening as we officially open the 21st Commonwealth Games here on the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia. We are Commonwealth athletes. On the opposite side of this country in 1962 in Perth, I was exactly in the position you are now. I remember feeling completely overwhelmed and at the same time excited about what I was about to do. As a swimmer on the starting block, I realised it was for real and now it's real for you. Athletes, grasp this opportunity right here, right now. This is a platform to show the world what it means to be a Commonwealth athlete. You inspire us to unlock our own potential. The stories you will create over the next 11 days will resonate with our values, humanity, equality, and destiny. We celebrate you. We celebrate the modern Commonwealth. Thank you, and Nanya Boo. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, its incredible journey across the Commonwealth is over. The Queen's baton has arrived home. Australia's most decorated female athlete, including eight Olympic medals, 10 Commonwealth Games gold medals, and five Commonwealth Games silver medals, our Madam Butterfly, it's Susie O'Neill.
this remarkable journey of 230,000 kilometres. Thirty eight hundred batten bearers in Australia. And doesn't the look on her face tell you the joy of this moment? To receive the baton from Susie, one of Australia's most successful cyclists. He's competed in three Commonwealth Games and won five gold medals. Brad McGee. Baton bearers tonight will also be accompanied by a group of emerging young local athletes. Next to carry the Queen's baton, it's five-time athletics Paralympian and Commonwealth Games gold medalist, Kurt Fernley. Receiving the baton from Kurt, the most capped netball player in Australian history, including two Commonwealth gold medals and three world championships, Liz Ellis. <laughs> Receiving the baton from Liz. He's captained the Australian men's hockey team 67 times, including three Commonwealth Games gold medal winning performances. It's Brent Livermore. Finally, to receive the baton from Brent, competing in her fourth Commonwealth Games here in her hometown of the Gold Coast. It's World Olympic and Dual Commonwealth Games gold medalist, Sally Pearson. I think I'll have to read it from here. No, 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 no. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it now gives me the greatest pleasure to declare the 21st Commonwealth Games open. His mother, the Queen, opened the games in Melbourne 12 years ago. And now we can officially get this party started. This is our home, born from the start. May this moment know you want it. We are here together, standing proud. May this moment know you want
was the opening ceremony of the 21st Commonwealth Games from the Gold Coast Australia. Join us tomorrow as the first gold medals are decided.